Let's create a custom ribbon using our Foxit PDF. To begin with, please take note of the ribbons or the tabs that are currently in the product. Um, if you have the Pro Plus Edition, you may have one or two more. But we want to customize and create one of our own. So we're going to go up to our File menu, and you will notice along the side we don't have options. If this was an Office application, we would have options. But what we're going to do is from any of the white space, we're going to do a right click and we're going to customize the ribbon. Now within the ribbon, or when this opens up, notice we are in Customize the Ribbon, we have all of the tabs or ribbons that are currently in here. And you can see there was one already created that I just haven't turned on. Now how did I create that? Let's go through this process. I'm actually going to reset the environment here so that we're looking at all of the defaults. I'm going to select New Tab and I get a tab and a group. Let's select the new tab. With the new tab I could do a right click and rename or I can rename here. I'm going to call this my Custom Tools tab or ribbon and then I'm going to do a new group. I'm going to rename this group and then I'm going to select my tab again and do another group and then let's rename that one. So I have two groups within this custom tab. I'm going to select the editing tab and from the left hand side I'm going to use the drop down and select all commands. You can see that the scroll becomes much larger. So with editing, I'm going to select specifically to add files. I am going to select to add a folder. I'm going to select to add images. I'm going to scroll down here until I can see edit text options. edit objects, edit text, and I think I'll leave those tools under the editing group. Let's select our reviewing and under reviewing I'm going to go down and look for spelling. And it's, oh, I've just passed it. And actually, I am not seeing my spell check within here, but that's okay. We're in the reviewing, so we'll select Review Text and Images. We'll add the Stamp Tool. We'll look at going to Single Page and show the status bar and show a summary. And then we're just going to say OK. Now you'll notice here are my custom tools. You can see the little divider bar, which is my two sets of tools. So I can show the status bar or show a summary if I had a document open. Now the reason I don't see these other elements is because I don't have a document open. If you want to save this custom tab or ribbon and export it to another machine, very easy to do. We return to the to a blank space in our area anywhere. We go back down to customize the ribbon. We select our custom tools. And in the lower right corner we export. And we're going to put this on our desktop. Custom ribbon and I'm just going to add Foxit to the end and I'm going to save that. And I'm going to say OK. If I minimize down to my desktop there's my custom ribbon and it is in XML. So I could then export that, as I say, or take it to another machine and how would I bring it in? Well, let's go back in here and reset everything. So our custom is no longer here, but we have exported it. It is on our desktop. So let's bring it back in with the import. And there's the file. We bring it back in. And when I scroll down here, 
or scroll up, I should be able to see my custom ribbons. And there it is. That's how simple it is to create a custom ribbon using Foxit PDF. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe.